A seven and a half lap journey gets underway for our junior athletes from the inside hip numbs. Natalie Arch, the ACT, Laura Powell, Victoria Jenny Blundell, of course we mentioned before, the world junior representative. Sophie Eccles, South Australia, Courtney Powell. We've got two sisters in this race, which we're going to have a chat to Susie about in just a little bit because there's going to be a little bit of stress for the parents in that race indeed. Kate Spence in New South Wales, we mentioned, one of the favourites. Bria Larder from West Australia, Samantha Prime, She's a world cross-country representative. He's right in there. Alex Patterson of Victoria, Stella Radford, also the Victorian. And as I move through with seven laps, it looks like we've got Laura Powell and indeed Kate Spencer out the front. And Susie, early stages like that of a, of a, of a 3,000 metre race, you, what would the, the girls be focusing on the mind? They look like Laura, really that steely determination, was happy to move straight to the front, whereas a couple of athletes just happy to sit back. Yeah, they need to get themselves in a really good position and... Um, this is only really early stages of the race, so Laura's positioned herself really well. She wants to keep the pace on tonight, so she, that's why she's up, still up near the front. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting story, actually. Laura Powell, of course her sister, Courtney's in about fifth place at this stage in the red and black. To have two sisters in the race, of course, Laura's just recently come back from the Australian All Schools Championship where she uh, took out the gold medal in the 1500 metres and but the, the younger sister and an older sister a bit of a sibling rivalry and but for a young athlete to be competing against some of the more senior mature athletes in the likes of Kate Spencer who's at the front of the field at this stage so the, it, it's must be it's a great learning experience for some of these young girls particularly on such a big stage yeah I think someone like um, Laura's all right to get in she trains with a lot of the older girls um, I've watched her watched both the power girls train down at Frankston a few times and um, they've got that determination to get in there. They're not not afraid to get in with the older crew so I think um, it'll do someone like Laura really well to be in amongst some of the older girls. And we, we mentioned her sister Courtney. Well it didn't take her too long. She's just moved her way up in the third place there. Tucked in behind Kate Spencer. Laura Powell. You can see to the outside it's Spencer in the white top and the inside. And Samantha Prime, the Victorian, the figure in fourth place. Of course she made her Australian debut earlier this year at the World Cross Country Championships in the Women's Junior Race. So we start to see the field reassembling as, as the field starts to sort itself out. We're going to keep an eye tonight on the split. Of course, the World Junior Qualifying Standard, 9 minutes 30. And with the calibre of field that we've got amongst this group, no doubt it'll be one that we need to, to keep an eye on, particularly the two power girls. Of course, we saw Courtney Power Post, a 5,000 metre qualifier, a couple of weeks ago at the Victorian 5000 metre championship and she'll be looking to just put an, another step onto that plane across to Oregon if she can help to get that 3000 metre time but at the front of the field Susie the, the girls look quite comfortable Spencer in the white on the inside is it seems very comfortable in her rhythm a bit of a, an arm a bit more upright than maybe the Lord but they, they seem to be quite comfortable at the front of the field the girls yeah they are they're um they've gone through at a good pace um, so that's looking at what they're aiming for. They're on about, what's that, about 9.30 pace? They're about, yeah, I think um, 3.12 through the 1,000 metres. So 9.30 is what we talked about. So they're about 9.36 schedule at the moment. But, but 3.12, it's, it's, it's a good solid start. You'd expect them to maybe start to build into it a little bit more. Oh, yeah, they've got to be keeping up this pace. They'll, um, they're, they're, Sam, Sam's prime seems to be sitting in there nicely. There's a few other girls that are still being carried along. And also see we are Jenny Blundell's joining that lead group of six, one of the... The better credentialed athletes on the international stage. You can just see her moving into sixth place there in the pink and red. And of course, she's medalled at the world, and indeed contested the world youth and world junior qualifying or world junior championships indeed. But the field really starting to, to split into a, a couple of groups here on the track. It's still Kate Spencer, who you'd have to say is, is very much the form athlete. He's come in with, took out the under 20 cross country title earlier in the year. On the track, she was the form athlete at, at the Perth at Australian Junior Championships, which we've got 3,000 metres. But it's a really gutsy run from, from Laura. I know it's only early stages, Susie, but we've got to remember that this girl's only 14, 15 years age. Her older sister's tucked in behind her. A little bit of sibling rivalry, but they've both got that real steely look about them on their faces, a real focus and purpose about what they're doing tonight. Yeah, they have. They caught, Courtney's actually got herself in a nice position there. She'll help her sister as well. Um, they're actually the daughters of a really uh, past, really top athlete, uh, Lindy Tresize. So I remember as a junior looking at watching her training and she had the same look in her eyes. So um, it's great to see that um, but both of her daughters are out there in a race that she would have been uh, running in. 
something that one of the records that I was trying to get as a junior in a 3K that she held. So she will fully understand what these girls are going through tonight. And of course, it's a magnificent sight here at Lakeside Stadium. We'll see the spectators, they're allowed out onto the track for both the 3,000 and the 10,000 metre event. So you're more than welcome to make your way onto the bend there at the city end of Lakeside Stadium. Get right up and close with the athletes. As we can see, it's still a lead group of six or seven. They're at the front end of the field. We've just seen Courtney Powell move out there with Kate Laura's just dropped back a fraction of that next group. See Jenny Blundell now joins them in the red top. Samantha Prime's right there. And three laps remaining. Still Kate Spencer at the front. And indeed it looks like Bria Larda, the West Australian, in the gold top there. Seventh place at this stage. Just starting to stretch them, I think, Kate Spencer. You can just start to see this gap open up into the back straights. Now Spencer and Powell, and this is going to be a really enticing battle. Two girls full of talent, of course. We mentioned Powell, a world junior qualifier already. Blundell's got the bit between her teeth. I think she's trying to pick up that gap. But so as you can see, just Kate Spencer at the front in the white, really just starting to stretch this field out and starting to dictate terms. And I suppose if you're wanting to win this race, this is what you have to do. Yeah, she has. She stretched it nicely, that second K. So she's got a little bit quicker on that on that one and um, Courtney seems to be hanging on. They've got that little, they're making that little bit of a break and if, um, if they let that gap get open too quickly, it's gonna be hard to get back. So it is Jenny Blundell, of course, in third place and Samantha Prime in behind her. Now we talked about that World Juniors mark, 9.30 is the time, 6.20 is what we saw them, or thereabouts is what we saw them go through that 1,000 metre mark. So we're, we're bang on schedule here. Kate Spencer just starting to, to stretch out a little bit on the Victorian there in second place in the red and black in Courtney Powell. Back to Jenny Blundell. Samantha Prime locked in behind her. Laura Powell just starting to find the going a little bit tough, but still really gutsing it out in fifth place. Alada back a little bit further into sixth place. but. Kate Spencer has been impressive. Two laps remaining into the back straight. This is on the Eki 3,000 metres course, named after one of the great female athletes that we've ever had in this country. That's the marathon distance. But down the back straight, still Kate Spencer really starting to stretch out now. And it gets to this sort of distance, Susie, where Courtney just, she really needs to try and hang in there because if that margin gets out too much, it could be game over. Yeah, she's just got to keep up her pace. Um, the, it's really stretching out. To, they're really stretching out the pace here. Um, and Kate looks really impressive at the front of the field. Indeed, behind her, Courtney Powell back to Blundell in third place. Back there to Sam Prime, fourth, of course, the world cross country representative. And Laura Powell there in fifth. So Kate Spencer is going to collect the bell here. We're looking at the time. The time we want is 9.30. And the time they're going to go one lap remaining is 8.08. So we're right on schedule here for a World Junior Qualifying Standard. We need to watch that clock there for Courtney Powell in second place. Kate Spencer moving very nicely at this stage. And to move her way into the back straight, the under 18 age group athlete is really starting to wind into her work and, and stretching out, looking very comfortable down the back straight there, Susie. Kate Spencer, very impressive at the front of the field. Yeah, she's powering along really nicely. Her last lap there was 72 seconds. So she seems to be putting putting on the pace a bit and uh, stretching it out for the rest of the field. So 200 metres from home in the Ondieki, 3,000 metres. We see Jenny Blundell in third place started really stretch out. Of course, 8.15 more her specialty. will have that sprint kick. Samantha Prime back in fourth place. Courtney Powell in the fifth. But entering into the home stretch for the last time, Kate Spencer, how impressive as a New South Wales athlete been. Of course, the under 18, 3,000 metre champion, the national cross country champion, a champion over 1,500 metres. And it looks like she's gonna be the Ondieki champion here in 2013. Kate Spencer, take a bow. This has been impressive. And watch the clock, ladies and gentlemen. We're going under the world junior standard, 918, 66. Blundell will sneak in there soon, and I think Powell will just get there as well. 9.30 was the standard, but 9.18.66. That was pretty impressive there from Kate Susie. It was really a gutsy run. She drove for the front and dictated the race on her own terms. Yeah, she did. She pretty much took over that race and dominated it, um, and it was great to see her keep winding up the pace right to the end. And a real camaraderie between the, the three athletes at the front of the field, Spencer and Powell and Dean Blundell. It's, I suppose it's it's competition in the race, but afterwards you're always friends at some level. 
Yeah, of course. You've um, you've all, always got that bit of uh, rivalry between you, but you know you, you've got to switch on for the race, and uh, you know, it's, it's just a competition out there, and you do you you got to really focus in on the race at the time. Well, sensational performance there. We're going to get.